Smoking is a well-known risk factor for myelodysplastic syndromes, which also may accelerate the whole process. So a group of investigators have studied the association between smoking and specific genomic alterations in uh, MDS. And to talk about that, I'm with Dr. Yazan Matanat, who is an MD and a hematology oncology fellow at the Cleveland Clinic Tossig Cancer Institute. First off, why did you look at this particular study? What were you trying to do? So the interesting question is that smoking was shown in clinical research to be associated with an increased risk of MDS. Um, a meta-analysis was reported a few years back reporting a 45% increase in the risk of acquiring MDS with smoking. And for many, many years, we've been looking at the pathogenesis of this heterogeneous disease, and we've been trying to learn. Um, we know that MDS, um, you acquire specific mutations over time. Some of them um, are uh, genetic, and some of them are somatic mutations. And the way people get those somatic mutations sometimes can be just as a consequence of natural aging, but we do know that other environmental factors play a role in MDS pathogenesis. So to better understand that, that was the whole rationale for doing this study. So how did you conduct the study? You have patients who were diagnosed between about a 20 year period, if I remember right. Yeah, that is correct. So. Uh, we basically did a retrospective analysis and we looked at our patient population who were treated at Cleveland Clinic um, over a 20 year period from 1996 to 2016. Um, those patients had to have um, adequate records and adequate smoking histories as well as uh, the molecular sequencing data using right. next generation targeted sequencing. So how many patients did you end up with studying and, and what did you learn? So we had a large group of um, patient population of about 672 patients. Um, the majority of these patients were former smokers, about 55%, um, and about 39% were never smokers and 6% current smokers. So what did you take away? I mean, you think that the lesions associated with light smoking for years may be related to chronic inflammatory disease, so there's actually a difference between these? So this is exactly what we noted. We noted that smoking is not a binary yes-no question. It's a lot more complicated than that. Um, as, as MDS is heterogeneous, so is smoking. And tobacco smoke has many, many um, compounds in it, and so uh, we really tried to distinguish the, the somatic mutations. Um, that you can acquire with different smoking intensities looking at different packs per day, or smoking duration looking at um, the duration in years. And we noted that there is a distinct um, pattern of somatic mutation acquisition with high intensity smoking. That may be related to direct DNA damage uh, because of the compounds in tobacco smoke such as benzene. Um, and smokers who have a lower intensity of smoking for many, many years um, had also distinct genomic abnormalities that could relate to a pre-selection for these um, because of the inflammatory effect of smoking on the bone marrow microenvironment. So what's your clinical take home from this? What are you learning? So we're learning that um, smoking is complex. So two points, smoking is complex. It should always, it should never be a yes, no questions for our MDS patient population. And we also learned that because of these distinct um, genomic abnormalities, we're better able to delineate the pathogenesis of this disease and understand the role of environmental factors and exposures on this um, somatic mutational acquisition. Are there still some questions that you'd like to see answered? Absolutely. There are many, many questions that are yet to remain to be answered um, in MDS. And one of the things we will be looking at is trying to get sequential um, um, mutational information to see when those mutations are actually acquired and how they play a role and how much um, smokers versus non-smokers have the pre-selection and when this happens throughout the disease course. So looking at pre-MDS conditions such as CHIP or clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential um, and, other con and other chronic inflammatory conditions. So is this an area that you've, you're really excited about, just using the, the CHIP and using some of these, these new technologies? Absolutely. This is a very exciting time for MDS, um, and we're understanding more and more about this disease um, as, we, as time goes on. Please, as you find out, please come back and, and chat with me again. I would sure. appreciate that. Thank you very much. And for ASH 2017, please, we have coverage both in ASH Clinical News as well as online with a variety of interviews. And for ASH Clinical News, I'm Rick McGuire.